Um, so yeah. Can we put the slides right there? Cool. Well, we're ready then. <clears throat> Did you know that Web3 monthly active developers are growing up year by year? This is really incredible, not just uh, with the possibility that we have to change the world um, across a new era of the internet, but the money that we can get uh, through that. And yeah, this is a possibility. Blockchain developers per year, as an average, we can get like 800K dollars per year. And this is pretty awesome, not just in US and not just in Europe, but mainly here in Latin America, this is pretty cool. And not just blockchain developers as a, you know, uh, as a path, but we have a bunch of options here in Web3, like Node developers, React developers, etc. But <laughs> before I can talk to you about the road to Web3, if you want to be a Web3 developer, let me introduce myself. My name is Angelo Kando, and I'm, uh, I am the blockchain school director at Blatty, which is the largest educational platform here in Latin America. We have more than 4 million users, and right now we're focusing on development ecosystem blockchain in the region. But let's talk then about the road to Web3. Web3, more than a technical topic, it's just an evolution. It's the new era of the internet. It's the possibility that we have to get control to the users. Now, data, it's the real goal 2.0. It's not Bitcoin, honestly, and I love Bitcoin, um, but data, it's most important. And users right now, they don't have the control, and we have the opportunity to help them. And uh, right now, if you are a Web2 developer, or if you want to learn about programming, it's the best opportunity to do it. Because you're not gonna you're not gonna learn or not gonna build, but at the same time you're gonna create a huge impact in the region. And there's some topics that you can learn if you wanna, you know, like jump to Web3 uh, from Web2. First one is understand what is blockchain, and not just blockchain, you know, like a transaction, but the infrastructure. And it's pretty important blockchain and Cosmos blockchain. Which is, Cosmos is not just a blockchain, it's a network of blockchains. So you really need to understand the ecosystem and the infrastructure if you want to build. Understand, learn, <laughs> then build. And then the apps. I think the apps are really important because can help us to understand why people need this. I don't have to prove that I am from Venezuela if you want to use DeFi, for example. And that's pretty huge. You understand this, then you want to build, and then you want to learn, and then you want to teach. And second, I guess, um, it's tokenomics, which is the, the main reason that you need to understand just to build. is like the strategy in your products. But cryptography is one of the most important things. And when we are looking about learning about Web3, we're always looking about, yes, uh, Web3 stack and uh, Web3 tutorial. But we have to focus in the main stuff. And cryptography is one of them. Today, I just want to recommend you uh, two books, Serious Cryptography and The Code Book. And you can right now like asking, like, hey, but why cryptography if you want to just learn about Web3 development? Web3, it's not about typing. It's not just put a button in your platform. It's about infrastructure. Because we really need Web3 to build. But if you won't have infrastructure, then it's going to be a pretty difficult uh, to achieve it. And uh, if you are a developer in Web2, it's pretty common, like, use memory, right? Like, yeah, um, like the cycles, etc. But here in Web3, it's pretty important that you have to learn about memory management. Why? Because blockchain is something that it's like uh, in nodes and um, computers, and etc. So we have limits resources. Once you understand that you have to manage the, the resources, then you're ready. And then you're ready to jump into Web3. Because you now know the fundamentals, and you now have to uh, take a decision, which is mainly, OK, do you want to be a DApp developer, which is basically uh, or build products for the people? Or you want to be a smart contract developer, which is basically the infrastructure. Or you want to be a protocol developer, which is mainly be Cosmos, 
core developer, like the way that you can use it, and then how can we use it, and how the final product that can go to the users. And Cosmos is pretty cool because they have a pretty good friendly way to develop, which is Cosmos SDK documentation, and they have basically three steps. Golang for building replicating states machines, or Ruby on Rails, or Rust for blockchains, or Thundermid for the consensus. <laughs> you don't have to do anything uh, or everything. It's just uh, focusing one thing. One thing that I really love about this uh, ecosystem is they are like the platform, like the infrastructure. Right now they have more than 200 uh, apps and services. And that you know that one of the most important blockchains for the users here, it's built in Cosmos, BNB Chain, for example. You know it. <laughs> and I don't want to talk about uh, tools for you, because I know you're going to you know, like achieve it with uh, curiosity, as this kitty. But what I wanted to do or, or talk to you right now, it's about the possibility that you have as a Web2 developers to change really good issues that we have now. And we can solve in Web3, but at the same time, tell you that Web3 is fucking broken. And yeah, we, we, we can be optimistic about it, or we mainly can, yeah, uh, we have a bunch of options, and we have a bunch of solutions, and we have a bunch of ecosystem. But people are not using Web3. I mean, not as a massive adoption. And this is pretty important to understand, because right now, we have a bunch of opportunities. If you want to be a Web3 developer, right now, as a junior developer, you can find a job. But with a um, project or with an opportunity, now you have a bunch of responsibilities. And what I would like to do, um, I'll tell you right now, is with this responsibility, you have the opportunity to work in the new era of the internet. Think always about the decentralization. Think about always about the users. Think about why people need use this technology and not just, yeah, 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 I'll, be, I'll become a Web3 developer because there is a bunch of money. You're here because we need you. We need you to build new solutions, but for the people, not for you. And that's pretty important. And uh, I think there's a bunch of ways that you can interact with uh, this ecosystem. Mainly, if you can go, go to a hackathon. I think Cosmo Wasm is going to be this weekend. But mainly about this is that you can meet your friends, maybe your next co-founder, maybe your team, your future team. But at the same time, you're going to understand what you need, what do you, do you're needing right now, right? So hackathons are a pretty good opportunity to understand why do we need products. And then you gonna understand what you're coding and what you need to build for people. Again, not for you. Communities are important for the same reason. You can learn about people. You can learn from their stories. For example, if you're here in Medellin, come to the streets and ask somebody about, hey, um, I don't know, how are you working with your savings? Or what do you think do we need crypto? And something like that, it's going to give you a bunch of ideas about the, not just about the people, but what we need crypto. Not for money, not for X10 of X token. No, it's about the real applications of blockchain. And um, it's not like a particular uh, way to learn uh, about Web3, but it's something that I really love it. And it's learn about everything. Web3, it's a good topic. Bill, here in Web3. But then teach. Because if you want to teach, and uh, or if you want to build massive adoption, Web3 massive adoption across the world, we need to teach. I mean, we just not um, need a developer in the region. We need thousands of them. And if you can learn something, and then you can teach it, Web3 is going to be cool. Web3 is going to be awesome. But mainly, because now you're going to teach about the possibility that Web3 can be for people. From people for the people. Not the same that we did in Web1 and Web2, which is give control to the companies. Nah, we're here for us. 
for the people, the people that we need, and the solutions that will help us to achieve massive adoption across the region. And if you think about it, and now you are a Web2 developer that want to learn about Web3, and then you're learning, and then you're building, and then you're teaching, we all gonna make it. And that's it for today. Thank you so much. <laughs>